Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Vlog. Here we are at Thomas Wittmann office. Uh, hello Thomas. Oh, hello Alex, how are you? I'm fine, N nice yeah. to see you here, nice to make new video with yeah. you. Here we are, we're, uh, we're going to do uh, something a little different than before. Uh, I just wanted to show you, uh, when you're in this business, it's very, very extremely important that you know how to package things properly. When you're going to mail someone or send someone a package in uh, FedEx or um, UPS, you have to remember that the boxes go from truck to truck and and the employees just throw the things yeah they don't uh, care they don't care uh, their whole motive is to get the stuff out of their way so that the next load can come in so sometimes they throw big heavy boxes onto your little box that was so precious to you uh, and there can be problems now just yesterday just yesterday, uh, this box came in uh, from a collector from Texas, and um, he was going to sell me a small painting of Hitler and also a Luftwaffe General's car pennant, both very valuable things. So I get, I picked this box up from the post office. And this is how it looked when I picked it up. See Damaged. how it's all crushed here? And I thought, uh-oh, this looks like there could be some trouble. So I opened the box. And uh, at least he had flaps on here. But these flaps did not do any good for the weight that was pressed on it. So when I, I got to the items... There's this a little painting of Hitler. I take it out of the um, the package here. Let's see how it comes out here. And as you can see, the way the box was crushed, mm -hmm. the painting is bent. And the painting is not only bent, but it's all chipped in here. And if you tried to straighten the painting out, it would break it. So here's something that's lasted all this time since the 1930s, through World War II, through the Korean War, through the Gulf War, through all this time in the United States, and the post office ruins it. Yeah, and uh, some veteran uh, brought it back with like a trophy, like exactly. a war, war souvenir with another exactly. thing. Exactly, this was a real trophy by a veteran, and what a shame just due to carelessness. Yeah. Because this would be a very valuable, nice painting. Uh, it's, it's an oil. It's an oil painting, and it's of, of a young Hitler, probably done about 1934, something like that. Uh, and then also in the box uh, was... Uh, another trophy. Was another trophy. This, this can be fixed, but this is a, a Luftwaffe General's car pen and a very valuable thing that's probably worth about $2,500. And again, mm -hmm. it, got, it got all bent from uh, from this shot that the box took. Because it's a metal it's wire. Metal, it. metal mm -hmm. wire underneath underneath of it. So these are the things that that can happen. Um, so you got to be very very careful with how you package things. Whenever you're packaging anything, just think what is going to happen to this box if somebody drops a piano on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. I mean, that's extreme, but it just, it, it happens all the time, and it's really a calamity. If you put uh, things like this or this to just a magazine, um, it would preserve. It would have preserved it, yeah. yeah. So it's... Uh, and about this, this item for our subscribers who didn't uh, see it before, mm -hmm. it's a general uh, carpet. Luftwaffe general car pennant. Car pennant. You know, okay. this would go on the antenna of mm -hmm. the general's car. 
and the Luftwaffe Gen you know it's a general because it's all in gold uh, thread and then around the around the pennant in bullion this is all bullion with little swastikas in it. Mm -hmm. When this was new, this was all real gold looking also, but the gold has faded over the years. But still, it's a um, uh, even though it's a little bent, it can be straightened, so this is okay. But but uh, Adolf, no, he's no good anymore. Yeah. So uh, it's a real a real shame. This is what happens. So. Remember this, very important. Pack yes. things properly. Yes, it's very you important. You don't want these kind of accidents. Okay? <laughs> yeah. And about this one, um, I do interview uh, with a English dealer, with a dealer from Great Britain, and yes. uh, he explained about uh, these items uh, that it's, it was uh, pretty easy to liberate a uh, trophy like this because uh, when you captured car with uh, yeah. with this stuff you can just <laughs> just break it together yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah. cool so there you are that's that now we i told you i got a box in yesterday that uh, alex likes me to save the boxes and open them so that you collectors can see what's in them because I don't know what's in it either. We get so many things that are shipped here that uh, it's hard to keep track of it. But yeah, I think it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it is interesting. So we'll take a look and see what it is. Um, we have to cut this open here. Mm -hmm. See, now this is packaged fairly well, but if something crashed on it, uh, yes. it's hard to say, but it's, it's still... But this this looks okay. I don't see any real problems with it. And from what state it came? It comes from um, Marion, New York. New York, not far New from York, here. Not far, no. And that's a good thing too because that's only a one-day delivery usually. So this would only be on one truck instead mm -hmm. of ten trucks. So you only have one guy throwing it into the truck. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, See whether we can get the. Yeah, now see, he's done a good job. He's he's put this kind of packing material in there. That that's these, these things are very good. They're they're uh, they're plastic filled with air. Mm -hmm. And then he's wrapped the things in uh, in in um, padded envelopes. Not the best, but. Um, it's okay. So let's see what we... It looks like daggers or bayonets. It looks like something, an edge yeah. weapon of some sort. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful too. When you when you cut these things oh, open, sure. you don't want to put the razor in too far. You could, mm -hmm. you could hurt the piece. Once in Germany, a customs officer, she was a woman, and uh, yeah. she opened uh, with a razor uh, my package and uh, scratched brand new mint condition uh, early SA dagger with oh. a rare mark. Oh. 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 <laughs> it was. See, it's, just, it's terrible because we value these things more than money. You know, because it's all the history and what it is. And it's hard to and find it. It's very yeah. hard to find. And uh, these, like, customs people, they don't care. They just want to get their duty, mm -hmm. the money, yeah. for the items and uh, and get to it as quick as they can. So let's see what the... I think you were right, Alex. This does look like a bayonet here. Oh, ah, Ernst Pack. It's, a, it's a Ernst Pack. Yeah. For you collectors, you should know that. Pack was the only maker to put the rivets like this that mm -hmm. are offset on the handle. And then it has a nice frog and a little bit of age on the scabbard there, but not bad. Mm -hmm. And let's see what the blade is. What do you think? You think it's an etched blade or you think it's just a plain bayonet? Mm, etched one. <laughs> etched one? <laughs> yes, because uh, Hanger is a really good frog. <laughs> well, I... Yeah, I don't know whether you're right or not. <laughs> Me too. By the way, um, there was uh, uh, one producer with a smaller, uh, with a smaller rivets, 
um, by Esculapus, I remember. Esculapus? Yeah. yeah. That's not a common maker for yeah, bayonets. Yeah. Well, let's right. see if you were right or not. Okay. Oh, Alex was right. Oh. He's an etched bayonet. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, it doesn't mm -hmm. look too interesting. It just has the, the in memory of my service time, and nothing in here. And the but, but, but here is, and it's ah, interesting. Ah, your no, eye no, no. is better than mine, yeah. Ah, yeah, that's well, very that's interesting. It's signal core, yes? Yeah, it is. That's a rare bayonet. Yeah, that's a signal core, special motif. Yeah, I've never seen that before. That's one of PAX standard etches, but mm -hmm. they didn't sell many of them. I just found um, two days ago is uh, anti-tank panzer. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah, pretty good one. Yeah, and so that's uh, that's better than I thought. I didn't see that at the first look. I was looking here instead mm -hmm. of here. But Pac did put a lot of their motifs yeah. down by the Ricasso. So that should be something good. Well, let's see what else is here. See that, collectors? You never know what's going to be in one of these boxes. That's what's the fun yeah. of it all. When you buy a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's a good thing I have Alex here to tell me what it is. <laughs> <laughs> This looks like another bayonet here. Ah, oh. now this one is interesting. But by see, now. Mm -hmm. see how the uh, the the pommel is is cut down, and there's no uh, quillin. Yes, footage, that footage usually is a sign of a pioneer bayonet. Mm -hmm. It's interesting though. The factories didn't call it a pioneer bayonet. It was just an option that you could buy. But somehow it seemed to have been preferred by pioneer troops. Uh, and uh, in uh, WKC catalog, there is a pioneer bayonet. It, yeah. um, it only one, on, only one catalog calls it like uh, yeah. pioneer. Yeah, you're probably right on that. Most yeah. of them, it's just you take mm. your choice. Extra item. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what's what here. Oh boy, this is uh, mm. wow, wow! Look at this! Look at this! Wow! Now that's no pioneer. Hmm, never seen before. Nice. Oh, no. that's a cannon and a look at the shell. A shell. It's not pioneer. Mm -hmm. So this goes by what I was saying that yeah. uh, a pioneer bayonet. Not really. It could be anything. Yeah, yeah it's just a type. But just this type. is this is really really a rare thing. Um, mm. Interesting. Oh, that's a piece of tape somebody a put cannon. on there. Cannon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the other side. Oh, and it's uh, it's got the pack marks. It's it. This is another interesting thing. I've had, I've had about a half a dozen pack bayonets that were the Pioneer model, and when you have this Pioneer model, they do not have the offset rivets. Mm -hmm. They're plain rivets instead of the offset. And I don't know why that is. I I thought that perhaps Pack used another company. Um, for yeah, this particular hilt, because they may not have made it themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is, I've seen this several times before, so this is original. Mm. And wow, what a bayonet. I've never seen that uh, etch before. Have you, Alex? Never yeah. seen two. No. That, Interesting. That's really a rare, a rare thing. Well, collectors, we're getting Whoa. a little more out of this than yeah. I thought we would. This is, this is pretty good. This is very good. And we see what else is in here. Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> that's a rare, that yeah, a really a rare, really rare one. one. That's a that's a really really you'll you'll look your whole life to find that and probably never would. I don't remember maybe hmm. I have to Google it because I, I've never seen uh, pictures with it. I've never mm. seen that etch before. Yeah. I would remember that because mm -hmm. it's spectacular with the cannon on yeah. one end and the artillery shell on the other. Mm. Cool. Very cool. Now, what have we got one here? More. Another pack bayonet, and this one has a trottle on it. Yeah. It was white. 
Yeah, it was white at one time. So was my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got here. So. Oh, another x bayonet. And another rare one. Look at this. Yes, it was a Pioneer. This one is a Pioneer. Mm hmm But not a Pioneer hilt. Yeah. See? A regular pack hilt. That's interesting. There was another one with the oval, uh, oval right. motif. You have one. That's right. You have one with the oval. Oh, it's uh, Pioneer, Pioneer Battalion, Pioneer Battalion uh -huh. number three. Wow, look at that. 43. Yeah. And a uh, distributor, too, on it. Mm hmm Very, very rare bayonet. So we're already done with the package. Is it empty? <laughs> it's empty. Yeah. And no uh, more bayonets, Alex. Three bayonets. And that's cool. Exciting uh, to see how you unpacking it and see what is inside. <laughs> well, it's, it's exciting when... You don't know what's inside, and it's something that's really good. Yeah. That's even more exciting. Like this time. Okay, I have to take some more pictures of these items. Okay. <laughs> and so, thank you for another video. Thank you for uh, fr from Russian collectors uh, community, and um, thank you for calling me to your office. Well, it's always my pleasure. <laughs> I, I love this hobby. So, we saw this surprise box and maybe we will see some more in the future. Please text under the video, do you like this type of unpacking and uh, this type of videos or not? And subscribe if you did not yet. And subscribe to Thomas Whitman uh, channel. Yes. Yeah. yes, you have 163,000 subscribers and I only have 5,200. That's <laughs> quite a difference. <laughs> yeah, please subscribe for to, to Thomas Whitman channel too. Thank you, Thomas. See you next time. Thank you. My pleasure.